Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 11th March 2023. The problem statement for today is yet another query problem. This problem is based on arrays and prefix sum. Let's now open this problem. Here we will try to understand the given statement first. Here it is said you are given an array of n elements and num queries. In each queries you are given three numbers that is l, r and k. You have to tell how many indexes are there in between l and r which is l less than equal to i and i less than equal to r such that the frequency of a of i from index i to n minus 1 is k. So okay here it is said we will be given an array of some elements and num queries. In each queries three numbers will be provided that is l, r and k and we have to find the frequency frequency of a i in that range starting from l and r that is l less than equal to i and i less than equal to r so whatever all the integers coming in this range between l and r we have to find the frequency of all these element between i and n minus 1 and we have to see if that frequency is equal to k okay so we can so this example will help us to understand it in a better way so here it is given num is equal to 5 that means the total 5 elements are there in this array of a and num is equal to 3 and queries are uh, since that uh, num is equal to 3 so 3 queries are there so here we can see the output here it is at 2 1 and 2 the explanation for it see if we the main thing in this problem is that we need to understand the given example first so if we understand this given example and then it will be very clear to know that what exactly needs to be done to solve this question so solution is not that uh, difficult the solution is rather much easy one you have to just calculate the frequency of it so first understand this uh, this one so for query 0 to 2 when we are taking the first query so l is equal to 0 r2 and k is equal to 2 so let r uh, l less than equal to i less than r okay so for i is equal to 0 when starting from 0 frequency of a of i a of 0 is 1 so that is 1 so frequency of 1 between i and n minus 1 is 2 so in this range in this range in this one i is equal to 0 here so and n minus 1 that is yeah um, up to the last index so how many occurrences of 1 is there 1 is twice here so that's why it is 2 next one when for i is equal to 1 See, we have to look for all the elements in this range that is starting from 0 to 2. So for i is equal to 1 that means a of i, a of i is again 1. So here we have to see what are the occurrences of 1 in this in this new given range. So now we have to look from i to n minus 1. Now this time i is 1, it is not 0. The way it was 0 in the previous step, it is not 0. So here the frequency of 1 is only 1 if you can see this part of array. So here we can see only 1 1 is there. For i is equal to 2 the frequency of a of i is 3. The frequency of a of i that is 3 is uh, from i to n minus 1 is 2. So now i is equal to 2 so starting from this location we have to see. and yeah i is equal to 2 so a of i is 3 now we will see what is the occurrences of uh, that frequency of 3 in the remaining array that means with new updated i 2 and minus 1 so i is equal to 2 from, from this location to, 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 to the last one here we can say the 3 is occurring to twice so that's why it is 2 here so hence we have two elements from index 0 to 2 which whose frequency from i to n minus 1 is 2. So the way it was asked in the given question, 
such that frequency of a of i from index i to n minus k is two is k n minus one is k. So that's why the third part of the query, the third element of the query is k. So we have to see how many elements in this range of query that is zero to two, zero to two and zero to four. Those uh, those are matching with uh, the given k there. So here hence we have two elements from index zero to two. Whose frequency from i to n minus one is two, because one is this and another one is this. That means one and three. That means element one and three. Okay. Now for the next query. For the next query, here we can see next query zero to one, where l is equal to zero, r is equal to two, and k is equal to one. So as we can see from the above query, there is only one. There is only a single element in zero to two whose frequency from i to n minus one is one. When it is said that from the above query means from it is referring to this one. In this one. So here all also we have taken zero to two. Here also we have taken zero to two. Here k was two, so we took this and this because here we have got the frequencies two. But this one, it is asking for frequency one. So here we could see for i is equal to one only when when a of i is one. So there only we got frequency as one. So it is taking that scenario only where frequency of one uh, i to n minus one is one. Okay. For the third query, the answer will be two because um, because the index zero to two. The same reason, same reason here. So that's why the output is for the first query it is two. For the second query, it is one, and for the third query, it is two. I hope this is clear. So now let let's look at the second example. Here it is said that n is equal to five, and number of queries given are two. But here all the, the all the array element given in A that all are equal. That means all are all elements are one. So here the output it is said as one one. So here also we will just try to analyze this. So um, in this explanation for it, for query zero four four actually it is not four it's it it should be two here zero four four uh, here it is so l is equal to zero r is equal to four and k is equal to I let's assume this two and thinking that this is some kind of printing mistake here so for i is equal to zero the frequency of a a of i is one so frequency of Of a of i, that what will be a of i? That is one. A of i will be for all the element. It will be one only. So frequency of one between between zero to last element is five because five ones are there. If we start from this location, this location, then four will be there. If we look, start with this location, third one, then the frequency of one from i is equal to two to n minus one will be three. So here. The place where we start till the last, whatever the is, is the count, so that will be the frequency because all the elements are same. So for i is equal to three, again it is two, and for four it is one. This thing. So here we have one element from index zero to four whose frequency from i to n minus one is two. So again, yeah. So this is two here, not four. So so this is the out. This is the answer. This which, which is in bold one. This two is here in bold, so yeah, so it is referring to this one. That means at this location, at this location, it is from this this particular index of i to n minus one. The frequency of the given variable, given value is two. Similarly, for query two, query two, there is only one. There is only one element in. Zero to four, whose frequency from i to n minus one is one. I hope this even the the examples are clear. So here the thing is that here um so it was a bit complicated to just understand this example. Yeah. So here what we need to do to uh, to solve this the approach here will be using the solution is will be using a hash map to store the frequency of each element in sub array that is. From i to n minus one for each index i in A. For each query, loop through the elements in A from L to R and check if the frequency of A of 
j from j to n minus 1 is equal to k if yes then increment the count by 1 this is the approach we will follow simple a hash map to calculate to store the frequency of each elements in the subarray and we'll just check if it is if any of the frequency in the subarray is equal to k then we increment the counter by one saying that one match is there and we'll finally return the array list after all the queries are executed so just to uh, save time in typing i have already prepared a solution so i'll just copy it here i'll explain it line by line i even uh, like previous solutions, I have even tried giving some comments so that it will be more helpful in understanding it. So here what we are doing, so here this function is taking this array, uh, array n number of queries num array a and an array of queries q as input and returns the array list of integer. Okay, so what we are doing, we are creating an empty array list to store the answer to each query. Then we are creating a hash map, hash map to store the frequency of each element in sub array that is i to, that is sub array from i to n minus 1 for each index of i in a. The, we are creating, creating this one, this, uh, this empty hash map for that. Now we are looping through each index i in a and create a hash map temporary to store the frequency of each element in sub array i to n minus 1 this we are creating a temporary array and it will store the frequency of of all the elements from i to n minus 1 now loop through each index j here ah uh, yeah this one loop through each, each, each index j in a from i to n minus 1 and update the frequency map of a of j in temporary hash map so with all this query we are just calculating the hash map of uh, that means the frequency and storing it in the hash map now add this this uh, now we are adding this temporary hash map to map hash map with a key i so whatever the value we have got there so that we are mapping with with the i i key which has started in initially in this for loop i hope this is clear so now now we are looping through each query and calculate the answer for each query. We get the value of L, R and K from the current query by in, uh, taking it through index wise. Now initialize a variable count to 0. Loop through each index J in A from L to R. This one and check if the frequency of A of J from J to N minus 1 is equal to K. If yes, then we are simply incrementing the count by 1 and we are adding this count to the array, answer array list and at last we return the, this answer array list. I hope this point is very clear. So we are doing nothing, just we are calculating the frequency here. Just we are cal calculating the frequency of each element in the sub array and we are just checking from each query, just iterating it starting from left to right with j variable we are just checking if the if any of those frequency of our elements is matching with k if that is a thing then we increment the count variable and we add it to answer so that's it that that's it, the solution so now let's try compiling this code so here we can see we have got our output correct Let's try submitting the solution. So here we can see this problem has been solved successfully. We have cleared all the test cases. So talking about the time complexity of the given solution, it's a big O of n square plus q into n what is here so n is the length of the array a and q is the number of queries the first loop the first loop through a takes big of n square time complexity because for each index i in a we loop through the remaining element to calculate the frequency of each element in sub array 
that means from i to n minus 1 this one we are first iterating through n1 and this one then again for a sub array remaining one we are again doing a for loop there so this is taking big of n square time the second loop takes the queries the second loop iterates through the, through the queries takes big of q into n time complexity because for each query we loop through the element in a for that is from l to r and check the frequency of each element index uh, from index j to n minus 1 so this operation which we are doing in this one this one so therefore the overall time complexity becomes big o of n square plus q of n that means that complexity that we have got here plus complexity of this whatever we are getting here so yes so this is the overall time complexity this one so if you are using some 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 more efficient data structure algorithm so we can get them a bit improved yeah but this is even fine for now so yeah so that's that's all in this uh, video i'll be providing the link for this question in the description box please do check that please like comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching